hello everyone so now we are in the here in the section of our ex uh, blood supply of our axillary artery so with the the end of our subclavian artery so the axillary artery is actually the continuation of our subclavian artery so axillary artery basically supplies uh, your upper limb region and your lateral thorax part and your scapula dorsal scapula region so basically these three areas uh, and upper limb area joint area shoulder joint area so these are supplied by your axillary artery and it is the continuation of subclavian artery which we have discussed in our last video so this this part where uh, this much part this much part is your subclavian artery okay so this is your subclavian artery we have discussed about the blood supply of this artery so this is the level where the subclavian artery is converted into axillary artery just the continuation so this level is your uh, external border of first rib or the lateral border of first rib so from here your artery is now called as axillary artery okay so this is your axillary artery so uh, this hole is axillary artery and this starts here and end your at the uh, inferior border of your terrace major muscle so this is the ending and this is your beginning of axillary artery so this much part is your axillary artery this much part is your axillary artery so we will discuss axillary artery in again in the three segment like subclavian artery its branches also according to the three segments uh, of artery so it's basically uh, first segment is just under first segment is just before this is pectoralis major muscle okay which goes just superficial to your uh, axillary artery and then the section from the upper border of terrace uh, pectoralis minor to the external edge of rib uh, external edge of first rib is your first segment and the area under your uh, pectoralis minor is your second segment and from the inferior border of pectoralis minor to the inferior border of your uh, terrace major is the third segment okay so these three segments and from there we will see the branches of the axillary artery and these segment can also be said and first uh, and these segment can also be said on the basis of triangle uh, which are present in the axillary region so this artery is present in your axillary region so first segment uh, is present in your cl clavipectoral triangle and second triangle is present in your uh, uh, second segment is present in your pectoral triangle and third segment in, is in the region of your subpectoral triangle so this uh, this classification can also uh, also be used for the uh, division of branches and the segments according to the topography can be used also for the division of branches on the basis of pectoralis minor muscle okay so uh, for the topography of axillary artery it just uh, just medial to it goes your axillary vein so from here your axillary vein goes just medial to your axillary artery and to the posterior of this to the posterior of axillary artery just beneath is your posterior cord of brachial plexus so it is just the to basic topography of your axillary artery so let's uh, begin with the branches in the first segment of our and this is your coracoid process okay so this is your coracoid process and uh, let's begin with the first branch and so by the segment in the first segment there is one branch and the second segment there is two branch in the third segment there is three branch okay the total we have three two one six six arteries okay so uh, let's begin with the first branch so first branch actually arises here from here and just goes uh, to the upper border of pierces the upper border of here both the pectoralis muscle and basically minor so this is your superior thoracic artery this is your superior thoracic artery so first branch uh, from your first segment okay so it supplies actually your both the pectoralis muscle anterior serratus muscle and some muscles in your uh, lateral thorax area or the muscles of your intercostal regions okay so this was your actually the supply of your uh, superior thoracic artery from the first segment so only one branch from your first segment of axillary artery so from here to here is your first segment so number it has one and from here to here it is your second segment okay and from here to here it is your third segment okay so now from second segment uh, now from se second segment we will see the branches the first branch uh, is your uh, thoracoacromial okay so thoracoacromial actually has further four uh, terminal branches so this is your thoraco thoraco acromial thoracoacromial artery okay so it actually pierces your clavipectoral fascia and goes to the uh, coracoid process and there it divides into four branches the so first uh, one branch goes to your acromion process so this is your acromion acromion process of scapula okay so one branch goes to here and this is called your acromial branch and one uh, branch goes to your clavicular area so this is your clavicular branch and one branch from here goes to your pectoralis muscles so it is your pectoral branch and 
one branch goes to your deltoid so this is your deltoid so this is your acromial acromial branch acromial and this is your deltoid these are the four sub branches of your thoracoacromial artery and the one is your clavicular and fourth one is your pectoral in the pectoral is major so by the name it is clear uh, what the region it will supply so these are the uh, these are the this is the first branch thoracoacromial and it has four terminal branches so this was the first branch from your second segment and third uh, now the uh, third artery uh, from our second segment uh, first artery from first segment second and yet this one is the third artery of axillary uh, artery so this arises and goes just to the inferior border of your pectoralis minor, uh, minor muscle and goes in the lateral uh, part of your thorax so this artery is called as lateral thoracic artery lateral thoracic artery okay so this is your lateral thoracic artery and it's it's also called as uh, uh, lateral memory memory uh, artery also because it supplies the lateral part of your memory gland in females and it the lateral part of your uh, uh, thorax region in the lateral area or lateral wall of chest you can say okay so this is the second branch uh, from our second segment so we are covered with our two segments now let's see in our third segment what are the branches so first branch from our uh, uh, third segment is just it arises from here and goes pierces your teres uh, major muscle and goes from the inferior uh, angle of your scapula just uh, touching your inferior angle of scapula so uh, till here it, this branch is called your subscapular artery subscapular artery so now it it, it has it has one branch from it it just takes circumflex just it turns so its name is circumflex that is why and, it, and this artery actually goes from your uh, triangular foramen or foramen uh, trilateral so this is your triangular foramen which is present in axilla axilla has two triangles foramen quadrilateral and foramen uh, foramen triangulum uh, trilateral okay so triangular and quadrilateral foramen in simple english so this goes uh, back so it's called circumflex so it is your uh, circumflex and, and just uh, uh, takes participate in the anastomosis of scapular region and it does anastomosis with your suprascapular branch which is the branch of your thyro cervical trunk okay so this is your circumflex scapular artery circumflex scapular artery okay so this is the one of the terminal branch of our uh, subscapular artery so below this, this and further reaching the inferior angle from there it continues as thoracodorsal artery so thoracodorsal artery is actually the continuation of your subscapular artery thoraco dorsal artery so it goes to your uh, dorsal part and supply this artery supplies your actually latissimus dorsi muscle so this is the continuation and does anastomosis with your intercostal muscles and the posterior scapular muscles uh, posterior scapular arteries so uh, this is the continuation actually so from here it is now called as thoraco dorsal artery and supplies your latissimus dorsi muscle so this was the first branch uh, from our axillary artery and this basically artery is uh, for the supply to your dorsal part okay and subscapular artery uh, supplies your uh, scapular muscle actually uh, uh, subscapular muscle in the subscapular fossa okay so uh, now uh, let's uh, let's see our uh, second artery in our uh, third segment so second artery is your uh, anterior circumflex artery from here it just uh, goes from your head of the neck of the humerus this is your humerus this is your humerus bone okay so it goes from the head uh, head uh, neck sorry in the neck of your humerus and it's a short branch then and another branch is your posterior circumflex artery which goes from the back side or from the surgical neck of your humerus so this can be seen in the dotted form and they both does anastomosis in the region of your neck of humerus so this is your posterior uh, this is your anterior circumflex artery okay and this is your posterior circumflex artery so posterior circumflex artery actually goes from your foramen quadrilateral okay and the circumflex scapular goes from your triangular uh, foramen triangular uh, triangular triangular foramen and this goes from your quadrilateral foramen in the axilla region okay so this is a topography for your posterior circumflex artery it goes from your surgical neck of humerus and anterior goes from your normal that is the anterior portion of the neck of humerus so they both uh, just do anastomosis in the region of neck of humerus so uh, this is the actually supply of your uh, humerus region so total we have six branches here okay so so one uh, mnemonic i will tell you okay so for remem remembering the branches so mnemonic is some times life 
seems a pain okay so these first letters you remember for the branches so first one is your uh, superior thoracic artery t is for your thoraco uh, acromial artery l is for your lateral thoracic artery okay lateral thoracic artery s is for your uh, subscapular artery a is for your anterior circumflex artery and p is for your posterior circumflex artery so these are the direct branch from your axillary artery so the, all six six branches six total six branches axillary artery is from its three segments so this was your axillary artery okay thank you